time to dish with Dee. That's me. We're going to do a little fun thing today. I thought I'd show you a few of my favorite gadgets. Now, I think I've done this time and time again, but I always get more gadgets because Dee has issues. That's why I don't know. So I'm going to give you an updated version of my few of my favorite things that I am enjoying right now. Again, you don't have to go out and run out and buy these. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just showing you different things. Maybe you're on the fence about it. Maybe you've thought about it. And, and here, Dee will just give you that little push. Again, I don't want you to run out buying everything that's on this video. That's not what this is about. This is about if you're thinking and you thought about it and saw it and went, hmm, I wonder if that would be good for my journey. Or some things that are basic that you really should have. And I think I will preface when I show that to say this is a necessity you should have. I will have most of these things linked in my Amazon store. Again, you do not have to go in there. Remember, whether you go in my Amazon store or Amazon directly, it's the same price. Amazon likes that we direct you to these places and they consider us Amazon associates. So yes, they pay me a little kickback. Not much to go on, but it's a little something. And remember, you're not upcharged for that. So I always wanna put that out there. When I send my Amazon link, trust me, you're paying the same price whether you went on Amazon directly or through my link. It's that they, we're encouraging you to go on Amazon. And again, if you can go on Target, go to Target, but I know we're all shopping from home. So. Let's get started with this. These fun favorite gadgets. All right, like this I find is a necessity. <clears throat> you definitely should have multiple measuring spoons and measuring cups. I have about three sets of each because sometimes you dirty the tablespoon. It happens, I have some together and I have some separate, they're in my drawer. I go to the dollar store, a buck. Sometimes I'll have, there's a set that comes with both for a dollar. So go to your local DT and see if you can find that. Definitely, definitely is a necessity. You need to measure, you need to know what teaspoons is and tablespoons is because sometimes a tablespoon of one, like pumpkin seeds could be two points, but a teaspoon can be zero. So yeah, scroll down, look what a teaspoon is. And sometimes a teaspoon of something is enough. I put a teaspoon of crushed hemp hearts, a teaspoon of pumpkin seeds for zero points on my oatmeal. Definitely, you definitely, this is a necessity. If I drop it all over the place. I find this is a necessity also at the Dollar Tree. Yes, when I do my apples in the peanut butter, you're done, a buck. I definitely think you will eat more apples if they're sliced and they're sliced evenly. You can make nice fun apple dips. So yeah, this should be the dollar store thing, but I love these. And I love ball jars. Again, you get these at the Dollar Tree Christmas tree shop. I love to put my oatmeal in here. I like, if you could see back there, I like to store things in them. Here's one, in fact, it's what else I do. Pickle jars. I save pickle jars to put stuff in. I'm repurposing. That's a great tip. I have a lot of pickle jars. Anything glass, I like to repurpose. So this one has pumpkin seeds. And I have one there. I have a little, I got the Dollar Tree sticker to put on there. One teaspoon is zero points. So I don't forget because sometimes I do. I think good containers are great that are airtight. These I won on a contest, but I love them. Like super, and see they put on there. It's great for your your uh, sugar-free substitutes, so it doesn't they don't get all funky and your flour airtight keeps them fresh because we can always use a lot of this. So I think good containers are a must. If you don't have them, I think they're a great investment. Totally, totally great investment. This, I think, is a necessity as well. And I say this all the time, a food scale. This is a rather inexpensive one. It's an Oziri, and I think it's in my Amazon store for like $14. I just got this one. I had one prior. I got a Target for like 15 bucks. That lasted me about three years, and it, was, it died. And I couldn't, let me tell you something, I couldn't live without it. It's definitely, you definitely need one of these. I'm sorry, you do. This is something I think it's a necessity for grams. And just to know, half the time you're jipping yourself. That's why you need it. You're jipping yourself for food. It'll say 14 chips or like 28 grams. Well, you'd be surprised. Sometimes you get more than 14 chips for 28 grams. So definitely, highly assess this is a necessity. Yep, I definitely recommend that. And I definitely recommend this. If you know me well enough, you know it's gonna be the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I love this thing. This thing, 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It comes in handy for so many things. I mean, I can't even say how much I love this. It makes cute little waffles. I got it to make cute little waffle sandwiches and it's become so much more. This is $10 in Amazon, in Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, anywhere you go, this, you can find this. They have a griddle, which I do own. I don't find that's a necessity. The waffle maker, if nothing else, you need to get the waffle maker and the scale. That, that's, this is a necessity on your journey. It just is. Nothing like fun food. Hash waffles. I mean, they're just, I made corn cake waffles for like chili. Yes, you need a dash waffle maker. You do. Now, this isn't a necessity, but I love it. I got this on Amazon. It's linked in my store. It's a, it's a microwave omelet maker. And if you've seen this, I've mentioned this a lot because I love this little thing. It's $10, I think. It's silicone. It makes the fluffiest, most delicious omelets ever. My kids use it. I can't, it's just, I love putting hash little, you know, make your eggs, usually no more than two eggs. I put candy bacon and a little bit of cheese and some shredded hash browns, a zero point amount. This, my friends, changed my life. I don't know why. It's just, it's fun and it's easy and the kids could use it. So I love, 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 love that. A hot pot. If you're a tea drinker, Joan hooked me on with this and I am hooked. This one I got at Goodwill for like $3, it's huge. So I am looking to um, expand, I'm gonna get this one to my husband to take to his office, and I'm gonna get one where you can hit the temperatures, that's my goal. But if you're, you boils water in like a minute. Awesome, it's changed my life, it's changed our life, because my husband makes carrot coffee, not carrot coffee, French press. Holler, it's done in, it's, it's just crazy. Linked in my Amazon store. Love this product. I mean, I don't know how I live without it. Being a tea drinker. I love little mini muffins. I love mini muffins. Nothing cuter. I can get 12 Kodiak pancake bites for three points. Yes. Cute food, small food you can get more of. Is it a necessity? No. Is it cute? Absolutely. And I love fun food. If you have kids, this is a necessity. I love, love, love this. Donut pan. Now, is this a necessity? I don't believe so, but if you love donuts, you're gonna, I've made, I've gotten more use out of this than I can care to tell you. You could use muffins, like regular sized muffins instead of donuts, but because it looks like a donut, even though it's not, your mind thinks it's a donut. And that, my friends, is why it's worth it. Little mental thing, I don't know. That's how I rolled. So that's a few. Let me go grab some more. Some bigger things. Oh no, that's, that's good. Before I forget. Knives. Spatulas. Are they important? I think so. I love funky cute spatulas. Yes, I think it makes your kid. I have a, like a, a um, utensil jug and I love these. I love looking at fun spatulas and look how cute that bunny is. I got him on clearance at a Christmas tree shop for like 60 cents. Check out your clearance section. A good sharp blade and I'm going to say this, a serrated knife. This is a definitely a necessity and so is this. Tomatoes. Don't be cutting tomatoes with this knife. You need to cut a tomato with a serrated knife, a bread knife. Game changer. I didn't know that for the longest time. I'm wondering why my tomatoes are always smashed. Totally, this is definitely, you need good, sharp tools. If you're gonna be cooking your food, you need good, sharp tools. And I think fun spatulas just make cooking happy. So yeah, to me that's a necessity, but it might not be for you. And I get that, I get that. So let me go get a couple other things. Now, while these are very large and probably a little expensive, they're definitely worth their, worth their money. And I'm gonna give my opinion on something that people ask a lot, and everybody's opinion is different. This is just the reason that I choose this over anything would be, I'll show you this one first, because it's right here. I love, a, this is a magic bullet. Now you can get the expensive blender if you have the money, but this is much more affordable. If you're big on smoothies, making anything, this thing is a powerful little sucker. And it's definitely more affordable than that high-end blender, which it's always on my wish list to get that blender, because we do use this a lot. 
But I say we start out with this and see how much you really use it. That's why we started out with this. We've had this about five or six years now and we really have definitely gotten our money's worth. So we definitely think maybe upgrading to that you know, beautiful $300 blender probably something we will do in the, in the near future. But I definitely love these for smoothies and anything you want to like macerate. I chop up my oatmeal to make oat flour in here. Fantastic. Oh, why oat flour? You have oatmeal. Drink on oat flour. You have your bullet. Love this. Here's the controversy part. Instant Pot. People say, I want to get an Instant Pot or an air fryer. Again, this is solely my opinion. I love my Instant Pot. My air fryer is wonderful, don't get me wrong. I can do a lot of my air fryer in my oven. Even though I have a convection oven, I don't always use that setting. You can crank your oven up to 450, get a nice crisp on a lot of food. Granted, you have to be there. I wouldn't say throw it in there and walk away. I definitely, because I used to use my regular oven for making, you know, my own french fries, my own eggplant parm, egg rolls, they would get crispy. Is it better than air fryer? Slightly, but you can live with how the oven works totally. That's how I, I, I you know, only reason I got this oven with the convection, because it was like on clearance. So like, hey, we're gonna give you this oven here. This one's on clearance, it has a convection. I'm like, okay. I very rarely ever use my small air fryer. I don't know if you can see it up there. It's too small for anything anyway. You can fit, what, two egg rolls? So if you're going to buy an air fryer, I do suggest a larger air fryer and an Instant Pot smaller. I got the eight quart because I was upset. <laughs> I thought I would need a bigger one. Six quart would have been totally fine, but I went with the eight quart. Because at that point, you don't know. But let me tell you something, this is invaluable. When you can get soup on the table with a ham bone in under an hour with dried beans, it's a rock star. When you can sit there and cook Bo uh, baby back ribs in 45 minutes, to me, that's a game changer. Your oven will never do that. An air fryer will never do that. But an Instant Pot will definitely get food on the table in quite a quick minute. So that is why I more, I am team Instant Pot. There are people that are team air fryer, and like I said, that's just a personal preference. To me, I could live with an oven to do a lot of what the air fryer can do. But that's me. You need to do what's best for you. But yes, this is my baby. I love her. So yes. I am a instant pot gal. So, yes. Oh, and this, I, I just recently purchased this about six months ago. And I don't know how I've ever lived without it. An immersion blender. When you make your soups, oh my God, my crock pot, um, app, cran apple butter. I would take them out, put it in a blender, blend it in like different batches. Now you can do that if that's, you know, with this, I think it's definitely worth the investment. Truly, I adore my immersion blender. I don't know how I, I don't think myself, how do I live without this? Well, I, I mean, you think like I said you can, you just do it in batches, but oh my gosh, does this make life easier? Heck yes. So I definitely would recommend getting an immersion blender. I got the KitchenAid one at Target, it was on sale. I think I wasn't getting it for like $39 or no, $29. Yeah, so check out sales. And you know, when you hit sales, you go grab it. Save up your, if you get like any kind of coupons and stuff. I'm sure what's McCall has it too, uh, Kohl's, they always have like good coupons and stuff. But I definitely, I am a big KitchenAid fan. There are workhorses in the kitchen. I have a standing mixer that was my mother's. That's probably 30 some years old. It works like nobody's business, man. They are meant to work for life. And I'm telling you, and the attachments you can buy for that yeah, I'm a KitchenAid girl. I mean, they're just workhorses. And if you're like somebody that uses it a lot, definitely get a KitchenAid. It's an investment, it's not cheap. It's like a few hundred dollars, but you know what? It pays for itself because you will have it for life. And I can't, like I said, I just, I inherited hers when she went. So I was like, plus I picked that out when I was living at home. That's how long, that's how old this KitchenAid mixer is. I was still like a teen when she got it. The girl's no 18 no more. So, yep, it's the industrial ones, that steel silver. That's the that's back when they only made that industrial one. So I talked her into it and let me tell you something, it's still here. Keeps a licking and keeps on ticking. And the attachments you can buy, like, oh my God, the, the brand, I have the spiralizer attachment. You can get the pasta sheet attachment. There's an ice cream attachment. There's a food processor attachment. So you can have one thing with many attachments. Again, 
it's just it's the workhorse and i really believe i really believe in this brand so i'm definitely a kitchenaid yeah so what else do we have d find some stuff okay i'm going to finish up i'm just a couple cute little things because i always think i love to get a cute little china cup again i got this at home goods for like three dollars it's just fun to have tea in a cute little cup makes it feel a little bit special fun jars dollar tree you could put fun things in here and store it in for a dollar. You know I'm all for that. You know I'm your dollar store queen. You do know that, right? I got these at the Dollar Tree too. Nothing like eating on fun plates. Your food may be light and healthy, but it can't look, it has to look pretty. And this makes it look fun. And it's a dollar. Again, little things you could do to spice up your food. You need a mug. A plain, nice, large soup mug. To make hungry girls and mug recipes this is, an, is a necessity you can get them at the dollar tree for a buck if you can find them sometimes they have them if you see one at the dollar tree for a dollar you need to get it the, the her mug muffins are literally life-changing they are and if i remember the link i do have a couple of videos if i remember the link them i will but if i forget eh, let me know and last but certainly not least this is one of my favorites is a misto this is a glass misto. I got mine on QVC. Um, I don't know if they, I haven't seen them there for a while, but this is a definitely a must have. You pump the air and then you spray the olive oil. Genius. I had a couple other misos. I didn't really enjoy the plastic. They were funky, but the glass is where it's at. I do have one linked in my Amazon store as well. I definitely, if you're a person, now WW doesn't like the word saute. They love saute. I saute everything and a good fry pan is a great investment. And what I do is I rotate frying pans. Every so often I will rebuy um, nonstick frying pans because you know, using the sprays, the nonstick sprays on them, isn't really good for them. But we as WW, that's what we use. So I continue to use it with this as well. But I just buy, I mean, they're not expensive. You can get three frying pans probably for like $19 at like Sam's Club or Target or um, I love Ollie's House of Bargains. So you can get beautiful pans every so often. So that's what I do. I'm thinking I'm not buying this to last a lifetime for $19, you know? This way I could use my pan spray and not worry because it eventually it loses its nonstick. But as WW, that's what we use because we don't want points. So that's what I recommend. I just recommend every so often just buying yourself a new set. That's what I do. I've, 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 I've surrendered. If I'm going to use the pan spray, I'm just going to like every couple years buy myself a set of three fry pans. That's just how it goes. And it definitely has worked last few years and I have nonstick all the time because yeah, it does wear and tear on them. So yeah, don't be like keeping your frying pans for 30 years. This is not going to work. And like I said, they're not that much that you, you know, it's not like they're like $50, $60 a pan. You usually get a set of three for under $20. So sometimes under 15. So that is my quick gadgets that I'm into lately. You know, I do, I do this video every so often when I can find new gadgets that I love and can't live without and fun stuff like plates and cups. And cups because it's fun. It's fun. So if, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites are. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, there's a subscribe button right there. Click it and there's a bell that you can hit to let you know when I upload videos. Have a great day and remember, you're one meal away from being back on track. Never forget.